Hello, this is Kaylee Gonzalez. I'm an applications expert with MLC CAD Systems. I'm going to be covering some of the what's new material regarding SOLIDWORKS 2017 and model base definition. This particular video is going to be covering the enhancements regarding adding dimensions and adding manufacturing information. So let's jump right into SOLIDWORKS. So if you are not familiar with what MBD or model based definition is, it's really a way that we can choose our primary and our secondary datums just directly inside of our 3D model and really start adding all of our product manufacturing information, all that PMI data to help us and help manufacturing create this part. And that's really what I did here in just a couple of seconds as I started creating a view for my part. In 2017, we can add views to this and we can also select our primary and our secondary datums directly from our reference callouts instead of having to choose geometry. And it's just a great way to really simplify your workflow. Save you some time, save you some mouse click effort. All of this information is being stored in a specific view inside of our 3D views panel. And eventually this information will be output to either eDrawings or a 3D PDF. But for now we're going to add a couple other location dimensions. In 2017 we can now choose edges as opposed to faces to really help document our view very quickly, very efficiently, and very easily. The location dimension can also compensate for different types of geomet geometry such as plane 4 and even the center of mass. And notice that I can create that information and that dimension between those two. This is a great amount of flexibility to make sure that everything is going to be documented perfectly for your project. In 2017, we can also add a basic size dimension, such as this internal radius, and even this outside radius. Notice now it's just a click of that edge, and we have that basic dimension ready to go. If we take a look at the views inside of our 3D views tab, we can now actually sort these through a variety of different ways, whether it's name or history or display state configuration. This is a way to really help you keep things organized inside your 3D views, especially when this gets to be rather extensive. Also in 2017, we'll notice that we can have different, very specific annotations for different views. The annotation space is no longer exactly the same between all of our views. This is going to allow you a huge amount of flexibility and allow you to be extremely specific and very clear and concise regarding your manufacturing information. So again, this was a, a lot of information regarding adding dimensions and that manufacturing information in SOLIDWORKS 2017 MBD. If you have any questions about what you saw, feel free to call us. I have our support number here, option 8, or you can mail our support at SOLIDWORKS support at mlc-cad.com. We're more than happy to answer any questions that you have. Thanks.